Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wimpy Studio. And today, as you can see in the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be um, reviewing The Mandalorian Season 1. So this is just going to be another, like, my High School Musical, the Musical, the Series season reviews, where I just reviewed the season to prepare for the second season that's supposed to be coming out in October, but I'll get to that later. So, yeah, I just thought um, it's going to be more of a shorter review, considering I don't have exactly much to say about it, except some basic points. So I guess we'll just go ahead and get to those basic points. So, first of all, the Mandalorian is a bounty hunter. Um, he is... Um, the whole point of this show, I think, is to him to clash with other guys that are similar to him to try to make the world better in his role. So I think that's one of the main things. Um, there is a, um, it's on the streaming service Disney Plus, and me, my mom, my dad, and my brother, we all watch it. And it ha it's Star Wars themed, it's Western themed. Um, and there's just a lot of like surprising moments, a lot of action in it. It's that's what makes it Star Wars themed. And I personally just like all the characters. The Mandalorian has some pretty funny things to say. Um, but then, of course, there's the whole thing. Oh, Baby Yoda's in Mandalorian. And the thing with Baby Yoda is he is very, very... Uh, I, I would say he adds some... Because um, the Mandalorian is filled with so much action, Baby Yoda kind of calms it down a little bit. Because, you know, I mean, you can't you can't um, say that Baby Yoda's not cute. I mean, he is, but um, I don't know. I'm just, I really like Baby Yoda as a character. I'm hoping that we will get, um, I don't know. I'm hoping that we'll get to see more of him in season two, but again, we're not there yet. Um, so honestly, it's a pretty good show. I mean, there's a ton of action that happens and I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they kind of expand that way into season two. Also, um, so with all like the different um, stuff going on, it sets it for Star Wars theme, especially because Star Wars is over now. This could be the next legacy. I had was a, I was gonna post a review for Star Wars: Rise of Skywalker, but I never got to it. Maybe eventually I'll review all the Star Wars series because I am hoping to start over with them. Um, I I am hoping to start over with all those Star Wars movies and um start um reviewing those and. All that stuff. I mean, there's a ton of things in my radar that I want to review that's in that world. Um, of course, reviewing a lot of Marvel and DC and all, all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. I'm I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, season two, which I'll go ahead and get into now. Why not? Hoping that season two picks up that thing. So, season two is set to come out around October this year, 2020. We do not know much about it. All we know is that there will be a season two. It's confirmed. Um. So, again, it'll be a fall release day, I'm guessing, like, October to December, something around there, because it comes out, there's typically eight episodes, there may be more, I don't know, but, um, they didn't tease a lot, I mean, I just know there's gonna be a lot, there's gonna be action in it, of course, I mean, what's the Mandalorian with it, without action? So, uh, perfect, uh, special announcement, and I'm really, really hoping to do this, if my channel is still going pretty strong, by fall, when fall comes around. I'm hoping to do episode-by-episode episode reviews of um, the uh, Mandalorian and High School Musical, the musical, the series. That is my hope. I can't promise anything, but that's my main hope. Now, you see, right now, I'm trying to do a big catch-up where I'm going to be reviewing separate seasons. Like, When Calls the Heart Season 7 is going to be an episode-by-episode episode review thing that actually um, you'll see a me reviewing. Um, since it comes out this Sunday, you'll see me reviewing, like, just the seasons one through six, my opinion, not like season by season, but just the entire show review so I can get set up so I'm not popping into the middle of the season. And I'll probably be reviewing Riverdale season five. So then I'll do seasons one, two, three, four review and probably 13 reasons why and Sabrina, I'll just do season reviews. So then I'm prepared for Netflix shows. I'm probably just going to do season reviews as well, because I don't want to, I don't like having that um, like stress on me that I'm behind and all that stuff. So I'm probably not going to do that, but I don't know. I'm um I'm excited for Mandalorian to return. Honestly, it's definitely one of my favorite shows. I know I didn't get much into it. I mean, there's stormtroopers and of course Baby Yoda, robots. It's just one of those just Star Wars themed shows. It's kind of it's just unique. I would say it's unique. It's um it's a show that it's going to I think it it could be the legacy to Mandalorian. It could be the thing that follows. It could be the thing that becomes 
almost as popular as Star Wars. It, Mandalorian cannot become as popular as Star Wars. Maybe it can. It just it, they have to do several seasons in order for it to be up to that level. Right now, it's kind of small. A lot of people watch it because it's on Disney Plus. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Just give my review and a couple of special announcements on the um, new season. I'll definitely be reviewing it. Hopefully, episode by episode when it comes to this fall. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching the Wimpy Studio. Again, I can see that you're just, I can see that you're, um, you know, I'm just going to be doing more and more reviews coming up. I I'm just excited to just step back and make my channel long term and not just take breaks. So yes, thank you everyone for watching the Wimpy Studio and bye.